Well, here's some news for your Monday morning. Twitter is reportedly close to a deal to sell itself to Elon Musk. The social media giant taking another look at the tech billionaire's takeover bid after he lined up more than $46 billion to acquire the company and take it private. Kelly O'Grady from Fox Business, live in Los Angeles with more. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Dana. Yeah, in a stark turn of events, Twitter is reportedly poised to accept Elon Musk's best and final offer of $54.20 per share. They're in the final stretch of negotiations, and a deal could happen within the next 24 hours. Now, the company was set to decline Musk's offer, even putting in place a poison pill to block him from increasing his stake. But after meeting with the billionaire yesterday and after pressure from Twitter shareholders to take the deal, the board was running out of options. Elon Musk announcing last week that he secured over $46 billion to finance the deal and even meeting privately with shareholders to convince them to back him. That obviously puts some pre uh, Twitter under a lot of pressure. Now, what shareholders are willing to accept, though, depends on their investment strategy. We spoke to a number of short-term investors this weekend, and the prevailing theme was they want Twitter to take the current deal. A few shared a complete lack of confidence in new CEO Parag Agrawal and noted the stock had been dropping until Elon made his announcement. Longer-term investors, however, think the offer undervalues the company. Now, Twitter is certainly performing their their own valuation right now so they can justify to Elon and shareholders what the company's worth. One snack, even if a deal goes through, centers on Musk's trouble with the SEC. If Twitter establishes that a sale to Musk would be risky, it could ask for a sizable fee in the case the deal falls through. But no agreement yet, Dana. One thing I want to keep watch on is what happens with the stock price. Okay, it's already inching closer to Musk's 5420 offer in pre-market trading over $51. That could complicate matters. We won't have to wait long, though. The company reports earnings on Thursday and could address the bid as early as today. Kelly O'Grady, um, everybody's watching this story. You'll be busy today. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.